Hello visuals and welcome back to the channel. Today is Thursday, which means Pokemon Thursday, where some guy sat in his house wearing a beanie hat just tells you about Pokemon, because, you know, fucking awesome. <laughs> um, but today is a dark, dark day, quite literally outside it's dark, um, and we're going to talk about the 10 Pokemon that I fucking hate the most. Yes, these are Pokemon videos and I swear a lot still I know, nothing I do in life makes sense. <sighs> But yeah, the, the 10 Pokemon that I hate the most, whether it be visually or how I've seen them in the anime or whatever like that, the Pokemon that I hate the most and the Pokemon that I've just got a bit of beef with and I just want to sort it out and just fucking leave it at that. But let's kick off our little list with number 10. <sighs> Superior. What fucking went wrong? I mean, the whole line's a bit iffy. But what went wrong with you? I don't know what the collar thing is. Where did your feet go? Schneivy was walking around and then you popped out. I mean, it's nothing against uh, you personally, mate. I don't know why I'm talking like you're actually watching, like Superior's logged into YouTube. Well, <laughs> I'll watch the visual, guys. But, yeah, um, I don't know. <sighs> what happened? You just look disgusting. I used you in one playthrough, I think. Uh, yeah, one of my more recent playthroughs of Black and White. And I just couldn't do it. Oh. Yeah, Superior's number 10. I can't stand the look of it. <laughs> Gabador. Gabdur. Gebdi. Right, all I can see is you're just like a really awful muck. Like, people chuck out their trash. Trub Trubbish is quite cute. I don't mind. Trubbish, you know, yeah, of course, it's funny. And then this is just a fucking monstrosity. Like, <laughs> Just like Superior, what the hell went wrong? Like, Muck's sort of done it okay, you, you know, he's technically not rubbish like you, but he's slime waste and stuff. Just a bunch of bin bags with eyes in a mouth. So, uh, that's why he's made the list. <laughs> Fucking awful. Love Disc. Now, this one, I, I do feel quite harsh putting on my list when I was making it. If, if you had the evolution like we all thought you were gonna, you know, um, it wouldn't be so bad. But the fact that you just, you, I just don't see the point in, in, in you whatsoever. <sighs> Again, I don't know what I'm talking like. You can, yeah, Love Disc, I think it's a really pointless, crappy Pokemon. I'm never going to put it in a team or anything like that. I mean, I have some people use it competitively. I've been online in battles and people have used it and stuff. It's not that it's a bad Pokemon with its attack stats and whatnot. Again, it's just the look. I just don't like it. It's just a little tiny little heart just swimming around. All right, knee bother. You know, oh. Just rip up my heart and chuck it at that one and see what oh, wow. <laughs> I'm getting too angry over Pokemon for no fucking reason. Delcati. Delcati. Ah, again, I don't know what it is. Every time I look at you, I just, I just want to punch you in the forehead. I'm being too harsh. I don't like hating Pokemon. I, I want to try and embrace all Pokemon. No, Delcatty, I don't I don't like it whatsoever. I have used it before. Again, like love it. It's not the worst Pokemon. I get that. I think it's maybe because I'm a huge dog guy. I love dogs. I love dogs. I'm not a cat person. Yeah, I just thought it was it was a really weak addition to the uh the Pokedex when it was released. It just looks awful. I just don't see fucking you know, it's I, I don't know what it is with Pokemon teams. I like lining up with teams with Pokemon that I just think are visually awesome. Hey, I always say visually and with the visual guys. I don't mean to do that. I just like to line up Pokemon that look cool uh, and just Delcati is not one of them. Bring our next subject up, please. Right. I've got my keys in my hand. There it is. Imagine in a Pokemon battle, just imagine whatever reason, Pokemon's real right now. Some guy's coming along, walking down, you know, and he's like, hey, do you want a battle? And he's like, all right, cool, let's have a battle. And he's like, come on, help Blastoise. You've got this big, massive Blastoise there, and, he, and you're like, okay, let's battle, come on out. What the fuck are you supposed to do with that? I, I don't understand how they did come up with this. Like, somebody must at the office... It game freak Pokemon, whatever, and they, they, they must have like went home, parked the car up, went in the house, went, hang on, I've got a great idea for a Pokemon, and just put a face on a key chain key. It's the fucking Pokemon is a key. 
with lots of keys on it. That's it. I know there's Pokemon out there that have got even weirder designs. Hopefully that demonstration was funny. Uh, they've got funny designs, but this is probably the worst. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. Why the fuck are you just a floating key? Skunk Tank is on here because when you're going through, I mean, unless I'm remembering it bad, but I'm pretty sure every member of Team Galactic, the further up you got, just had one, and I got sick of seeing it. I like the idea of um, of the Pokemon itself. Skunk Tank is okay. I just, I'm sick of seeing them. Plus, they're actually, I mean, I remember not you guys, I have struggled in a few battles against them, and it's kind of made me hit it a little bit more, because I always feel like I should just be able to mow straight through it. I just, a couple of online battles, not recent ones, but a little while ago, and it just, ugh, it, sometimes it will just do my head in. It's kind of somewhat sturdy. It can learn a decent variety of moves, and I just remember being a fucking bad head. Plus, it's just a fucking stinky bastard. <laughs> yeah, skunk tank, fuck off. <clears throat> Again! Just another visual one. It's just... It's an ice cream cone, just like Clef Key. I, oh. This one made it worse as well, though. This one got high up the list because of the dumb look on its friggin' face. Plus the evolution, it's just ice cream. Ice creams together, more ice creams, hey! I, I, oh, no, I, I can't be doing with it. I can't be doing with friggin' ice creams being chucked out into battle. And <sighs> The fact that you're super effective against a dragon with, you know, your ice and shit. I, ugh. Well, same with Klefki being fairy. I... The whole the fucking world of Pokemon just gone fucking mad. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Imagine, imagine your parakeets and your ice cream. Hey, I'm ready for a battle. No, go away. Hypno, Hypno is just a guy because when I first played the games when I was a kid, I remember seeing him and just being like, holy fucking moly. It's, it's Alakazam did the same. He freaked me out. But I've come on terms with me and Alakazam are cool now. We're tight. We're, we're bros. This dude I've still not come to terms with. I don't like the fact that he's running around with his little fluffy thingy and his, uh, no, and his big schnout. Because uh, I always look at it in terms of if Pokemon was real and I was wandering around just chilling and then just one of them popped out, I'd just be like, what the fuck? You know, it's... It, keep that shit... He shouldn't be out in the wild. I mean, if we were a Pokemon, I don't like saying this, I feel really bad, and, you know, a certain Pokemon went extinct and it was him, I don't think I would mind... Hypno, you're just a freaky bastard. Number two, bring her up. I just want to know, why do you have a pair of behoobies? Okay. Um, and is, is the skirt part of you? I, I, when you evolve, does it, how does it... Oh. There's too many questions I need answered with this. Jinx is just weird. Imagine walking along and Jinx pops out. Plus, do you know what? I'm going to go there. I'm going to say it. If you're like a, a, you know, a bug catcher or, you know, one of the loser characters that are always sat lonely and you've just got you and a Jinx and you're growing old, you can't find a woman to marry or love or a girlfriend. Do you go there? <laughs> I mean, no, I shouldn't be thinking about this kind of shit, no. Just Jinx has just got too many questions in his weed as fuck. Jinx is my number two. God, I, I should die. And that brings us to number one. Number one on my list of Pokemon that I hate of all time. Who do I hate the most? Vero. Okay. Give him credit. He's one of the OG flying types. That's fine. Design-wise, look-wise, it's okay. It's fine. But you, Mr. Fero, you come, starting with my boy, the Pidgeotos and the Pidgeys, right? You come messing with them lot, then me and you are just going to have beef, right? From day one, I knew you were going to be a little shit. Your whole line was going to be Spiro attacking Pikachu. Then all them little Pidgeotos and Pidgeys getting bullied off the big Fero, and Ash's Pidgeot is like, nah. Fuck you, Fero. Evolves Pidgeot, does it. He's a bully. I don't like him. Plus, I imagine, if again, if Pokemon was real and you wander around a desert... And like you've run out of water and you're about to die, I can imagine a Fero just sort of looking like, hey, with his long neck. Oh, wait for you to drop and up. Now be a. I just don't trust him. He's. No. It's, it's, uh... 
<laughs> Getting agitated by pharaohs. No, I don't, pharaoh, you're you you're a bully. You're a freak. Pidgeotto and Pidgeys deserve more than to take your shit. But that was my number one. And that was my little list of um, Pokemon that I hate the most of all time. Um, <laughs> it was it was a fun little thing to make, I guess. Again, I don't, I don't want to hate every Pokemon. I, I want to try and love every Pokemon. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. I don't want to just like, hate you, hate you. But do you know what? There's just some that don't sit right with you, thingy. And I'm, if any of these, sorry as well, if any of these Pokemon are your, like maybe your top ten of favourites, I do apologise. It's just ones that I don't like. But you can disagree with me below and just say, hey, Dan, shut the fuck up. I love Hypno. He's awesome. And that's fine. Cool. But hopefully you still enjoy these little Pokemon videos that I do. And um, I also released a uh, Pokemon Go video really early this morning. Um, basically showing I've got every item, uh, evolution item from Pokemon Go. So if you could, could you please go give that a watch and give this video a like. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. I just hit my finger on my little binder thing there. Didn't hurt because I'm a main. But thank you guys for watching. Do it with me. Do it with me. Peace out. What the fuck was that? Peace.